Hi dear students, we are starting to new chapter expressions and we are going to start with using the letters for unknown numbers. For inst instead of unknown number, I'm going to use uh, instead of unknown number, I'm going to use variable term also. This is more common also you need to know that one. Okay, here we are going to use for simplifying or we are writing the expressions, we are going to use this operations what I showed here. So uh, you need to know these simple forms here. These are the simplest form of these expressions. I'm going to explain why it is like that also one by one. But before starting to that one, x plus x is equal to 2 times x normally. Uh, and it's the rule of uh, addition, you know, general rule. But we are not writing 2 times x. Instead of that one, we are writing 2x. It means that we know that there is invisible multiplication operation between 2 and x. You need to know that one firstly. And also I want to remind about here this one. Like in addition, we are doing 2 plus 3. If it's equal to 5, at the same time 2x plus 3x, it's going to be equal to 5x. Or 4 minus 10, how it is minus 6 at the same time, 4x minus 10x, it's going to be equal to minus 6x. This is also one important part that I want to remind here. Okay, the second part here, the uh, if we continue, we, so this one and this one, let me remind. Here it is the standard form. What does standard form mean? this variable it is not in standard form this expression i'm sorry and here when you write the first variable with greatest power to lowest one then the constant term this is called the constant term so this is becomes a, a standard form of the expression okay instead of x over 4 we can write x divided by 4 that's also possible or here in the fourth one 3 times x plus 8. It's written like in the first one, 3 times, but that times is invisible. And later we are going to learn in expansion, 3 times x, it's going to be 3x, 3 times 8, it's going to be uh, 24. So we are going to distribute that one. And this is, uh, we are going to learn as expansion of brackets. Here the, uh, the next one, it's going to be x times x. And when you multiply the uh, number by itself, you know, you know that one, we are getting the square of it. And uh, here, I want to remind about the rules, x to the power of m times x to the power of n, it's going to be equal to it's going to be equal to, I'm going to change the color here because this is a special rule. So x to the power of m times x to the power of n, it's going to be equal to x to the power of m plus n. This is one of the rule that you need to know maybe for the next operations we are going to use. And the second one here, x to the power of 1 is equal to x, which means that when the power is 1, it is not needed to be written or we are not writing the power or if we say sentence uh, to the other direction if there is no power we know that the power is equal to one from previous information and this is the last one something to the power of zero always it's equal to one it's going to be and this is important note before starting to this chapter also let me remind you about that one Okay, the next one, x times y, you are multiplying two variable, and as you see, there is invisible multiplication operation between them. Instead of that one, instead of x times y, long way writing, we are writing x, y, and we are reading like x, y. Okay, y times 7 times x, it's going to be equal to 7 x, y. Uh, also, the important part here, when you are writing the expression, I'm sorry, when you are writing the expression, firstly, the number is written, then the variables are written. Which variable is written? Uh, it's not important, firstly. Which variable firstly written? That's not important, but it's important to write the uh, number firstly, then variable. Actually, the number here, it is called coefficient. 
also the number in, in front of the variable is called coefficient and the last one is x divided by y can be written like here x divided by uh, x division y as a fraction you can write like this okay here there is one definition 2x 2x plus 3 this one 3 times x plus 8 and x over 4 they are all called linear expressions and these are not linear expression because uh, this is linear expression because all the powers of x is equal to 1 and only there is one variable if there are more variables then it is not called linear expression actually uh, I'm talking about uh, with respect to times I mean multiplication here there are two different variables like in this expression uh, 7 times x times 1 the both power is 1 but since it is times this is not linear expression if it is 7x plus y this is linear it's going to be linear expression but 7x times y it is not linear also I want to explain that one as a detail here okay so x squared when the power is different than one it is not linear so this is the case x times y as you see seven x y these are they are not very um, they are in multiplication actually the degree here also two i'm going to explain later what it that means so seven times x y also this is multiplication so and this is not linear 7xy is not linear but 7x plus y again I'm telling you 7x plus y it's going to be linear let me clean this part and rewrite this part again 7x plus y is linear but 7 times x times y is not linear because of the rule x over y also is not linear you need to know also that one okay the second part here we are going to try to understand to write the expression from the sentence here there are some sentences and we are going to use the unknown term for that one we are going to use a constant unknown term and we are going to with respect to with respect to sentence order we are going to write the expressions let's read the first one and try to understand what is our expression and we are going to use the firstly uh, the x is the first number and refuel gets when he divides the number by 3 then subtract 2 so it means that he divides the number x by 3 then he subtract 2 let's read the second one this is the a1 and the b1 I'm writing here add 7 to his number so x plus 7 then multiplies by 4 here the important part when he multiplies by 4 firstly we add it then we multiply that's why that's why the number x plus 7 must be written in parentheses okay if we add by if we multiply by 4 multiply by 4 multiply by 4 then at then at 7 if the sentence is like this the answer it's going to be 4x plus 7 multiply by 4 4x then add to uh, this one 7 it's going to be okay the last one here it's going to be multiplies the number by 4 as you see here what I said 4 times x it's going to be then subtract y from the result so it's going to be 4x minus y this is the answer of the question it's going to be and I can say this is the d1 and this is the answer of d1 here okay now we are trying to understand the multiplying the algebraic terms and as you know when you multiply the number by itself it means that you are going to get the cube of it x squared times x also it is the cube of it x times x squared also it's the cube of it but we remember this rule x to the power of m times x to the power of n it's going to be equal to x to the power of 
uh, x to the power of m plus n you need to remember this rule and if we do that one x to the power of 2 times x to the power x which is equal to x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 1 when the power is not written I know that that's equal to 1 that's going to be equal to x to the power of 3 this is the important rule here and here also while we are simplifying the expressions that's the main reason to we are, we are trying to understand that one we are going to multiply the same variables we are going to multiply the same variables we are not going to multiply different variables by each other this is important role here here uh, if i say 4xy times 3x i'm going to multiply 4 and 3 because they are in same form uh, their number then x times x i'm going to multiply then y is alone only it's going to uh, it's going to be like that here and the answer of this expression 12 x square y it's going to be here it's going to be 4 p square x 2 q not x times 2q times 5p and I'm going to collect the numbers firstly 4 times 2 times 5 then p square I'm sorry not equal to times p square then times p so I collect the same terms together p square times p it's going to be times q we don't have another q to multiply with q that's why it's going to leave like that 4 times 2 it is 8 times 5 it's going to be equal to 40 p squared times p in here also we know that one it's going to be equal to p cube times q but as you know uh, we are not writing at the end when we simplify we are not writing the time sign and we are understanding that one here we know that 2xy cube it's equal to 2xy cube 2xy cube it's going to be equal to 2xy times 2xy times 2xy in another word 2 times 2 times x times y times 2 times x times y times 2 times x times y which is equal to this part is important 2 times 2 times 2 x times x times x and times y times y times y it's going to be and that's the uh, what I wanted to say this part was important 2 cube it's going to be times x cube it's going to be times y cube okay I didn't write this one as a because I want you to see when we have this kind of operations like 2 cube here you can distribute this power one by one to the products here also the factors so it's going to be 2 cube then x cube then y cube also it's equal to 8 x cube y cube is the answer